All right, this is my 1989 Toyota Model F or Space Cruiser Model F. Uh, it's what it's called here in Europe. And um, I got this uh, car about three months ago and uh, I didn't do anything. I mean, this is, this is how I got it. Um, there it is. Um, this badge, I, uh, a friend of mine made it. Uh, he 3D printed it. I think you can see how he did it. And um, I don't know if I leave it like this or I paint it, I don't know. But this is the original name badge. Uh, it's broken right here in the middle. So I uh, need to look that up and replace it. This tailgate, uh, I think is original. This is the uh, dealership where it was delivered 1989 in Germany. And uh, it's got rust here and there, nothing special. I mean, you know, of course these cars have rust like here, but um, I'm gonna replace this whole thing and uh, repaint it, pop the window, do that. Oh yeah, this is me by the way. Um, I got this, uh, box and I had it for so long. I think I had it since 1989 and, um, it didn't fit on any of my cars. It was just too big. So when I got the van, I, uh, I popped it on and look at that. Fits beautifully. Uh, I think I'm going to repaint it in the uh, color of the car. I just got to uh, figure out, I want the original stickers, the Kamei stickers, I want them back. But um, if I can do the stickers, I mean, uh, reprint them, I'll pu put them back on and paint the whole box um, in the same color as the car. Okay, car has the wrong wheels. These are tiny, small, and... Uh, it's practically impossible to find the original aluminum or aluminium wheels uh, for this van here in Europe. So I've got to figure out what to do there, but um, they're good, they're new. I'm going to leave it like that for now. This is it. Color combination, brown interior, very nice car, very solid, all original. Here again, the badge. It's got a lot of, a lot of issues with the paint, but uh, nothing, nothing major. Um, like I said, almost, I mean, there is rust, but there's n nothing to be concerned about. Um, what I wanted to do with this video uh, is to show you uh, some of the differences between the re European version and the uh, American or the uh, Northern American and, and uh, yeah, Canadian. I don't know uh, how many versions there are, but I think there are two or three. Um, the mirrors are different. It's from what I've seen, like this, you know. Uh, they're fold, they're not electric, they're manual. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, of course, here, rust. I'm going to redo this whole panel. Um, I can't find any body parts, so I'm going to make them by hand. Uh, sh should be nice. I mean, I have uh, the contours and I have the measurements. Uh, I, I can, I can, I can do this. No problem. Um, yeah, uh, interior. Pristine, almost, you know, carpets a little bit uh, used but uh, it, I didn't clean the car at all. This is how I got it. I just put this carpet, this shady carpet on, just to protect the original carpet, you know. But um, I'm gonna do a deep clean of the car. I already have an appointment, so that should be, that should be done in a couple of weeks. Uh, sunroof. <coughs> Come on, oh, there you go. Complete sunroof, electric, everything works. I put some LED lights in here just to see better at night, but uh, I didn't do anything to the interior. I mean, it's got dings and dents in here everywhere, but uh, I'm going to leave it for now. 
I'm gonna restore the car completely and bring it back to its original glory uh, in time. I mean, I got a lot of my mind right now, but uh, I'm using the van almost every day, you know? So, gonna, yeah, gonna go slow. Uh, continuing the interior, door panels look like this, manual windows, nothing electrical here. Um, passenger seats. Uh, these, I think, are different in, uh, uh, from the American version. And I saw on one picture there's more trim here than on the, um, than on mine. I mean, the Americans have, I think, have more trim right here. Not sure. Uh, of course, no fridge, uh, no ice maker and no AC. There's just a hole in there. Uh, I don't know if there was a button in there or not. Don't know. Gotta figure that out. This is just a cup holder, like this. Push it and got space for European sized cups. <laughs> right there. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Sunglasses out of the way. Um, this is it. Got the clock right there. Works. There you go. And uh, what else? Yeah, um, this is it. This is my, uh, I don't know what it's called in, in, uh, in English, but you can adjust the brightness of your dash and stuff. Uh, of course, uh, rear uh, wiper, hazards, rear heater, you know, heat, cold, this and that, pretty, pretty uh, basic stuff. Got my radio in there. And what else? Okay, uh, a view from this side of the interior. There you go. Uh, this is pretty basic too. I think this is the same as every other model. Uh, I've got a little sunroof right here, like so. And this just pops open. I think uh, the US versions have this as well. All right. I uh, gotta get back from the other side. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Trunk. There you go. Again, the shady carpet, just to protect the original carpet. It's right here, because I'm hauling stuff with this van and uh, I don't want to get any dirt, grease or whatever on the original carpet till I clean it. But um, all the rubber seals, they're good. They're soft, you know, solid. And um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I don't see anything that's really, I, I mean, I restore cars for a living and uh, I, I've seen worse cars. <laughs> this one, this one's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, the chassis, everything beneath is, is all almost perfect. Yeah. But uh, I, I think these seats have never been used before. They're really, really good condition. Uh, the middle row and the rear row, <laughs> Uh, are, are pretty solid, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, I got this problem. And um, I saw on Toyota Van Group that somebody from Australia is manufacturing these seals. Uh, and I think I'm gonna buy them so I can pop the windows and, and um, yeah, replace everything. There, uh, this is the driver's side again. I think this is all the same. Of course, nothing electric here. Uh, this, is, this is completely used up. I mean, I don't know what to do there. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Uh, this I'm gonna uh, redo. I got some brown plastic paint and I'm gonna, um, you know, brush it down and, and uh, repaint it. Of course, uh, brake reservoir fluid right there. And on this side is the lock and lock button, which doesn't work. I don't know why. Uh, rear heater works, fog light works. And this little light is when you turn on the hazards, it blinks and it's OEM. This doesn't blink. These blink. And this one does. I think it has something to do with um, with the European spec, not sure, 
but um, I think I can find that out uh, why they put it like that. Yeah, okay, uh, of course, it's a manual. Oh yeah, it's a, uh, sorry, it's a two liter um, carbureted 90 horsepower, five speed engine. And the engine I'm gonna show you just in a second. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> About uh, the hose of death, yeah. Really no problem right there, <laughs> nothing. Everything is so accessible because, you know, it's a carburetor. And uh, I mean, there's nothing hidden that I can't reach. And of course I got the other side that I can pop up. Um, really nothing, nothing special about this. Um, engine runs fine. The uh, exhaust manifold gasket was completely gone and I had to replace that. I got some leaks here and there on the valve cover and uh, I ordered some gasket and parts and I'm gonna make a complete overhaul of the engine. I think it's pretty safe right now. I mean, um, I got uh, 254,000 kilometers. I gotta uh, figure out how much that is in miles, but um, engine runs fine. I got a a leakage here and there from the carburetor got to figure out where that come where that is coming from but um temperature wise everything cool runs great i mean we got summer now it's pretty hot in here but uh engine stays cool stays fine i mean really nothing 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 on it let me try if i can uh turn it on yeah there you go I think uh, I heard some rattling on the, in the chain, um, but I'm gonna do that anyway. Completely new chain, oil change and everything, you know, do all that. Run smooth, I like it. Hold on, yeah, that's it. Um, I got, uh, I got the poor fuel uh, gas mileage <laughs> because of the carburetor and of course uh, low power, but um, it's it's fine for me. I mean, I'm not running anywhere far or fast or whatever, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty decent for me and it's really enough. Again, shady carpet right here, original carpet right there, you know, the plastics all used up. But um, I'm, I'm gonna be looking for this carpet, you know, this, this um, pattern and, and color so I can replace the whole carpet and the whole car. Yeah. Okay, this is my antenna, which is of course uh, broken right there. Um, gotta put a new antenna on, uh, the headlights of course. You know, big change from your cars over there. You know, uh, it's got the indicators right there and right here. And uh, this is all solid glass. Yeah, what else, what else? Yeah, I think uh, that's about it. Yeah, uh, I've got the original chrome uh, uh, roof mount, uh, I mean roof rack mounts or whatever you call it. Um, I think they're not that stable. I mean they bent a bit when I put the box on but uh, the box is for uh, 50 kilograms anyway so I'm not gonna be putting anything heavy in there. Uh, but it's solid for now. Really really solid. And yeah this is my 1989 European Toyota Space Cruiser Model F. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And I really love it. I mean, I love the car. I've been driving European cars for all my life. And this is my first Japanese car. And I fell in love with it immediately. It's just, it's so compact. It's, 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 it's such a difference to drive this uh, to all the Euro other European cars. I mean, it's just something, something about it. I don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna keep it stock. I'm gonna restore it, put it all back to original. I mean, why not? It's got potential and it's really rare, rare here in, in, in Europe. There, I think there are only uh, two of them registered in Germany. And uh, if I ever sell mine, I, I think I would sell it in Germany. Why not? But for now, I'm going to keep it. And I hope to keep it uh, for a long, long time. So there you go.